Welcome. This video is intended for administrators and supervisors of Outside View Enterprise. In it, you will learn how to find supervisor mode and use it to create centrally stored session files and workspaces that will be automatically distributed to all members of a given profile. As a note, if you are interested in, in learning about user permissions and privileges for those files, that is covered in the video on override mode. In this video, I will show you where the various files are that you'll need to in invoke supervisor mode with and where created files are stored both at the center point of the enterprise at the hub, the Windows shared folder, and then eventually at the end user location as well. Then we'll show you how to start and invoke the in supervisor mode. We will configure a few sessions and workspaces and finally, we will talk about some of the workspace or application-wide settings that you can define for your end users. Are you ready? Let's go. When you conduct an enterprise installation, the final panel that shows up is the one shown here, which is defaulting to open the installation folder. So as soon as you click finish, that's where you go. In the Profile Install folder, you'll see a number of shortcuts. One is to install the License View utility. One is to install Outside View, the client itself. And then you'll also see Supervisor Mode.exe. This is a special uh, run flag for Outside View, the client. So we would first install Outside View itself, run it once, get back out of it, and then we're ready to run Supervisor Mode in the hub itself. So let's do that now. When running supervisor mode, that should be the only copy of outside view that you do have running. Don't run client mode at the same time. When supervisor mode comes up, it identifies itself in the title bar. Otherwise, it looks very much like outside view that you are familiar with. As we have covered in other videos, all we need to do at this point is create sessions and workspaces, configure the workspace, and that will automatically be saved to the profile. So let's quickly do that. I'm just going to create a uh, Telnet 6530 session to our nonstop system, logging in through ID management into the Tackle service. Having created that session, I can now save it and go File, Save Session As, and it will default automatically. The pointers are to my profile and the parameter folder within it here at the hub or the center of the enterprise. So I will save that. If I wanted to change colors, these would also be stored within the param folder as well. And now I can save my collection of sessions, of which in this case I only have one, um, as well. But I could save, as, create as many sessions, create as many workspaces as I like here at the Hub, and I do it only one time. I can further, I can go in and set the settings for this application and for this workspace in terms of, for instance, the session bar. I'm going to have it be live thumbnails instead of a text description. I'm going to have the sessions connect automatically as soon as they have their login data available to the identity manager and I'm going to have them go ahead and log in as soon as they can. So that's how I'm going to do that. That's changing the defaults but it also I'm going to apply them to this current workspace. So now I save my workspace again and I am done. What has happened at this point? In the parameter folder of the center of the hub, these two files have been created. For reference, I'll show you that my users, individual users storage location, which is on this Windows 7 box, users GMH, down into the parameter folder, it is empty. So what we've done is we've populated the hub, the outside view end use client, which is outside view itself, knows 
what profile it belongs to. It knows where the hub is. It knows to go get to that profile and that hub. Once it first comes up, it already has gone out to the hub and in the local storage, which again is App Data Jim Hampton, or Jim Hampton App Data Roman Crystal Point Outside View, in the param folders, it has downloaded and replicated to itself tandem session file and the workspace one workspace file. What's nice about this is it gives you a single point of control. Let's say you have 500 end users. As a supervisor, you can create a session and a workspace one time at, through supervisor mode, and you are done. All members of the profile will receive it automatically. If you ever need to change settings, you would use supervisor mode, change that master copy at the hub, and any changes you make and save are then automatically replicated out to the end users. You don't have to re-push it or redistribute it. They will pick it up automatically. I hope this has shown you just how easy it is to get to supervisor mode and populate the hub with files, configuration files, for end user um, automatic distribution. Thank you.